Now to another big story. The 18 members of the new Pulse Advisory Committee met for the first time at the Kia Center, sharing stories of survival, loss, and vision. Their goal is to finish plans to honor the 49 lives lost and the survivors by the end of the year. New Six's Treasure Roberts reports members are both passionate and apprehensive after prior plans have fallen through. What made you decide to serve the community? But mainly because I I feel like there's been so many voices left unheard. Pulse Advisory Committee consists of 18 members who are either survivors, victims, family members, or community stakeholders. Each person shared why they wanted to be a part of this. I want to be a voice for those people that we lost to make sure that we honor them. The survivors believe all those impacted were wronged by the now dissolved One Pulse Foundation. I hate that stuff is, that we were taken advantage of. Like it, and the fact that it is eight years now and literally nothing was done on their end. Tommy Connolly, a survivor, questions whether Orlando City Commissioners will do the right thing. How many of those commissioners were part of the last foundation? And how can we trust them to support what we push forward as a memorial when they had the eight years prior. One discussion during the meeting was the mission and vision for the Pulse Memorial. When you think about what makes a memorial respectful, what would you say? If it's anything that is memorializing those who were lost and taken from us, telling a story and, and, and kind of sharing their legacy. They also heard from people involved in creating memorials in other states following tragedy for insight to the process. I feel hope. Siglali Santiago lost a family member in the shooting. She believes the memorial finally has a chance. As the promise I made to Dani, he's not going to be the name. He'll be more. During public comment, the mother of a victim spoke. She applied but wasn't accepted to join the committee. It's so unfair, it's morally unfair to do this to me as a mother. Some of the committee members told the chair they would like the mothers and other family members who weren't accepted to be on the committee. He said he'll notify Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer and city commissioners about their requests. Very delicate situation there, Treasurer. Thank you.